Effects of Coffee on Health Coffee is one of the most widely consumed beverages in the world, and it has been the subject of many studies to determine its potential health effects. Overall, moderate coffee consumption, 2-3 to three cups per day, is generally considered safe for most people. But excessive consumption may lead to negative health effects. It is important to consider individual differences in tolerance and sensitivity to caffeine when consuming coffee. Here are some of the known effects of coffee on health. So before starting video, please subscribe my channel for more updates. Let's start. 1. Boosts alertness and mental performance. Coffee is a natural stimulant that contains caffeine, which is known to help improve alertness and mental performance. Caffeine works by blocking the action of adenosine, a neurotransmitter that can make you feel tired and sleepy. This leads to an increase in the activity of other neurotransmitters, such as dopamine and norepinephrine, which can improve mood, reaction time, and cognitive function. However, it's important to note that the effects of caffeine can vary depending on factors such as individual tolerance, dosage, and time of consumption. Additionally, consuming too much caffeine can lead to negative side effects such as jitters, nervousness, and insomnia. 2. Reduces the risk of certain diseases. Yes, that's correct. Coffee consumption has been linked to a lower risk of several diseases, including type 2 diabetes. Several studies have found that regular coffee consumption is associated with a lower risk of type 2 diabetes. This may be due to the antioxidants and other bioactive compounds in coffee that can help improve insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism. Liver disease. Some studies have shown that coffee consumption can help protect against liver diseases, such as liver cirrhosis and liver cancer, especially in people who consume alcohol or have a history of liver disease. Parkinson's disease. Several studies have found that regular coffee consumption is associated with a lower risk of Parkinson's disease, a neurodegenerative disorder that affects movement and coordination. Certain types of cancer. Some studies have shown that coffee consumption may be associated with a lower risk of certain types of cancer, such as liver cancer, colorectal cancer, and endometrial cancer. It's important to note that the mechanisms behind these associations are still not fully understood, and more research is needed to confirm these findings and determine the optimal amount and type of coffee consumption for disease prevention. Additionally, it's important to maintain a balanced and healthy diet and lifestyle to reduce the risk of these diseases. 3 may protect against cognitive decline. Some studies have suggested that regular coffee consumption may help protect against cognitive decline and reduce the risk of developing neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. Caffeine, the primary active ingredient in coffee, has been shown to improve cognitive function and enhance memory and learning in some studies. In addition, Coffee contains other bioactive compounds such as antioxidants and anti-inflammatory agents that may help protect against oxidative stress and neuroinflammation, which are thought to contribute to cognitive decline and neurodegenerative diseases. However, the evidence for the cognitive benefits of coffee is mixed, and the optimal dose and timing of coffee consumption for cognitive health are still not well established. It's also important to note that other lifestyle factors, such as physical activity, social engagement, and a healthy diet, can also help protect against cognitive decline and should be considered as part of an overall strategy for brain health. 4. Can cause insomnia and anxiety. Coffee consumption can lead to insomnia and anxiety in some people. This is because coffee contains caffeine, a stimulant that can interfere with sleep and increase feelings of anxiety and nervousness. Caffeine blocks the action of adenosine, a neurotransmitter that promotes sleep and relaxation, and can cause increased activity in other neurotransmitters such as dopamine and norepinephrine, which can increase alertness and arousal. The effects of caffeine can vary depending on individual tolerance and sensitivity, as well as the amount and timing of consumption. If you are sensitive to caffeine or have trouble sleeping or experience anxiety, it may be helpful to reduce your intake of coffee or other sources of caffeine especially in the afternoon and evening. Other lifestyle factors such as stress management, regular exercise, and a healthy diet can also help promote relaxation and better sleep quality. 5. Can cause digestive problems. Coffee consumption can cause digestive problems in some people, particularly those with underlying gastrointestinal conditions such as acid reflux, irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, or inflammatory bowel disease, IBD, Coffee is a natural stimulant that can stimulate the digestive system and increase the production of stomach acid, which can exacerbate symptoms of acid reflux and heartburn. 
In addition, coffee contains compounds such as chlorogenic acids and n alkanoil 5 hydroxytryptamines C5HEs, that can increase gastric acid secretion and motility, which can lead to diarrhea, bloating, and abdominal discomfort in some people. If you experience digestive symptoms after consuming coffee, it may be helpful to reduce your intake or switch to a lower acid coffee blend or decaffeinated coffee. Additionally, other dietary and lifestyle modifications, such as avoiding trigger foods, eating smaller meals, and staying hydrated, may also help manage digestive symptoms. It's also important to consult with a healthcare professional if you have chronic or severe digestive symptoms. 6. Can increase blood pressure. Yes, that's correct. Coffee consumption can increase blood pressure in some people, particularly those who are sensitive to caffeine or have hypertension, high blood pressure. Caffeine is a natural stimulant that can cause a temporary increase in blood pressure by stimulating the release of adrenaline and increasing the activity of the sympathetic nervous system. This effect is usually mild and short-lived in healthy individuals, but it can be more pronounced and long-lasting in people with hypertension or cardiovascular disease. If you have high blood pressure or are sensitive to caffeine, it may be helpful to reduce your intake of coffee or switch to decaffeinated coffee or other caffeine-free beverages. Other dietary and lifestyle modifications, such as reducing sodium intake, maintaining a healthy weight, and getting regular exercise can also help manage blood pressure levels. It's important to consult with a healthcare professional if you have concerns about your blood pressure or if you experience persistent or severe symptoms. 7. Can cause addiction and withdrawal symptoms. Coffee contains caffeine, which is a natural stimulant that can lead to addiction and withdrawal symptoms in some people. Caffeine addiction is characterized by a dependence on caffeine to function normally, as well as a tolerance to its effects. This means that over time, a person may need to consume more and more coffee or other sources of caffeine to achieve the same level of alertness or performance. Withdrawal symptoms can occur when a person stops consuming caffeine and can include headaches, fatigue, irritability, difficulty concentrating, and mood changes. These symptoms can be mild or severe, depending on the individual and their caffeine intake. To manage caffeine addiction and withdrawal, it may be helpful to gradually reduce caffeine intake over time or switch to decaffeinated coffee or other caffeine-free beverages. Other strategies such as getting regular exercise, staying hydrated, and practicing stress reduction techniques can also help alleviate withdrawal symptoms. It's important to talk to a healthcare professional if you experience persistent or severe symptoms or if you have concerns about your caffeine intake. So that's all about our today's video. What do you think about video? If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.